Hi, I'm Craig Muirhead from pipingclub.com and this time we're going to look over the C doubling exercise. So I'll do my usual, I'll start by playing it as I normally would, then we'll break it down and play it from each note in the scale. So here we go, C doublings. What I should say is, if you want to download the PDF for this, you can do that at pipingclub.com. Go to the Already Played page and sign up there and you'll have access to all sorts of resources for free just to keep you busy with your piping. So if you've got that in front of you, even if you don't, let's just make a start. So we're going to break this down nice and slowly. We're going to start in low A and a C doubling is very simply a G grace note to C and a D grace note to C. Once more, when you're on low A, you're playing a G grace note to C and a D grace note to C. Again. Again. And then we're going to move to B. And it's exactly the same movement. You're starting on B this time, but you're playing a G grace note to C and a D grace note to C. Again. Now we're coming from D, so we'll miss out C here. And it's the same thing, G grace note to C, D grace note to C. stuff now from E. From F. G. And from high G, I should say, slightly different. It's no longer a G grace note because you can't play that grace note there if the finger's already up. So this time you're going to play a thumb grace note to C. And by doing that, you're taking your thumb off and going straight to C altogether. I'd really recommend having your chanter rested on the table for this one um, because you are essentially taking your whole hand off the chanter here. So this goes like this. Once more. And finally, from high A, it's just called a half doubling because you're going straight to C and then playing the D grace note. So easy in comparison to the high G. Okay, we're going to try them all the way up the scale again. We might just push them up a little bit. So starting in low A, G grace note to C, D grace note to C. D now. Now the high G, which is different, it's the thumb grace note this time. And 
from high A straight to C. Really important you take it slowly, don't uh, rush into trying to play them at full speed uh, because you want to get the two solid grace notes on C there. Um, so just a reminder, if you have any questions, get in touch, info at pipingclub.com will come to me. There's my social media channels, at Craig Muirhead on Twitter, at Craig Muirhead Music on Facebook. And I'd love to hear about how you're getting on with all this stuff. Let's just to finish off, try going up the scale, playing the doublings at what would be sort of the normal pace. If you're not there yet, if you're not feeling confident with this yet, don't worry about it. Rewind the video, practice again, practice again until you're feeling like you can do them at this sort of pace. So from Loi. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, I hope that was a help to you in some way and um, we'll maybe see you on another one of these videos sometime soon. Thanks very much.